I am beginning this project with moving the boards from the palette that I want to use for our, our palette pumpkin. I am super stoked for this project because as with most of my DIYs, it will be my first palette wood pumpkin. Having a little fun with the board here. I am now going to be removing the nails from the boards that I will be using for the pumpkin. And I'm using a hammer, my legs, whatever I need to get those nails out. I have chosen four boards to use to make the pumpkin. I've placed them next to each other and with a pencil I am just sketching out the pumpkin. I am now using a jigsaw to cut the outer boards which are the rounded boards of the pumpkin. Clamping the board securely. Then making my cuts. I am using this cracked board you see at the top here to make the pumpkin stem. Pumpkin stem done. Woohoo! Pieces are cut and we're ready to make the pumpkin. Here is what the pumpkin will look like and now I'm just going to sand these edges a bit. Putting on 80 grit sandpaper and now we're ready to sand the boards starting with one of the rounded boards. Okay, last board done. Here's what it will look like. Now using some scrap decking and stair wood to make the stands for our pumpkin. Getting ready to cut our stands. Sanding the scrap wood stands. I will begin now coloring the pumpkin. I'm going to do a crackling technique and use black as an undercoat as you will see, painting the entire face of this pumpkin black. As the Rolling Stones say, painted black. And don't forget the sides. Hot in the city, hot in the city tonight. Just being silly. Elmer's glue. This is the secret ingredient for making the crackling technique on our pumpkin. I love this technique. Now to pour out some of this vibrant orange. I am using a sponge brush to spread a fairly thick layer of Elmer's glue onto each board. Now when applying the orange paint, you want to skim it very lightly over the Elmer's glue. You don't want to mix them together. You want the orange to lay over the top of the glue. And when it dries, this is what is going to give you the crackling effect. I have placed them on parchment paper to dry. Now to cut some boards that are going to be used to hold the pumpkin boards together from behind. You don't have to, but I'm sanding the connecting boards. I pre-drilled the holes and now I'm ready to put in the screws. Making sure everything is lined up just right because I do want a little small gap in between the boards. Starting the first screw with my hand and then drill it in. Putting in the rest of the screws on this board. Now the second connecting board. Low speed is gonna help out a little bit, so he's drilling the holes and putting in the screws for the stem of the pumpkin. We adhered the scrap wood stands. Here it is from the back side. Now to add a clear top coat to seal it. Putting a coat on the body of the pumpkin and a clear coat on the stem. 
I absolutely love my first palette wood pumpkin. I think it came out great. I love this orange color. It's poppin'. If you enjoyed this video, pop that subscribe button, like, and share. And as always, thank you.